life of the boner.
Christmas Eve, 2011. That was the day my sister was murdered by Courtney and Zach Smith. They were labeled the Polaroid killers because they would leave Polaroids of the person they murdered around the crime scene. They were sentenced to the death penalty and were executed by the state in 2015. Justice was served. You see, I'm not exactly the most extroverted person in the world. Some might call me backwards or maybe even a little odd. My sister and my brother was the only people I had to take up for me, and now that all I have is my brother, it's kind of sad because he rarely visits or calls. Anyways, the town I live in is Ashgrove, Ohio, a small town with, may I say, small-minded people. They've never treated me very well. The only person that is kind enough to shoot me a smile every once in a while is my next-door neighbor, Sarah, who I used to go to school with. Granted, Sarah and I weren't best friends in school, but... She's always been nice to me. Listen, Christmas has always been my favorite holiday, but since my sister's death, it's always been the toughest time of year to get through. And I don't quite know what it is, but this year, (laughs) this year I think I might be able to have a good Christmas. I want everyone to have an amazing holiday season. Even the ones that are mean to me, and I mean that, I really do. Literally everyone deserves to have a great holiday season. I mean, I... Okay, I know, I get a little excited when it comes to holiday stuff, but this time of year really isn't about giving and receiving gifts or eating food. I mean, although that's pretty fun, this time of year is about love and good times. And while I might be alone this year, good times can still be had. Never be afraid to start new traditions. (laughs) Never be afraid to start new traditions. Happy holidays, Tyler. Thank you. Happy holiday, bastard. Happy holidays to me. That was Ricky and Eddie, the creme de la creme of small-minded assholes in this town. I'll tell you, it's just my luck, huh? 
One minute, a beautiful girl is leaving me a present on my porch. The next, a bag of dog shit. I guess you gotta take the good with the bad, huh? I work at Anita Handjobs Cafe, which if you have a name like Anita Handjob, you probably shouldn't put it in big bold letters on the sign. Today is Christmas Eve, and I don't mind working on Christmas Eve. It's never packed, only a few customers come in. Heck, even people just stop by to say hi. Oh, I did. How could somebody dislike working in a coffee shop? I mean, we got espresso, we got dark roast summer. It's winter, like what? <laughs> I tell you, one can only be so lucky to be a barista like me. Like a like an American Tim Hortons. <laughs> Howdy, how are you doing today? Pretty good, just trying to stay warm. I gotcha, I gotcha. So what can we get for you? I think I will have a nice coffee and your baker's dozen donuts. Okay. So what flavor on the donuts? I think I'll have uh, six glazed and six chocolate. Alright, and what about the thirteenth donut? What do you mean? A baker's dozen is 30 donuts, so you have one more flavor. I don't think so. A dozen is 12. Right, but a baker's dozen is 13. It's different than mine. No. Uh, do you do this to all your customers trying to give away free food? Let me speak to your manager. I, well, I do do this to all my customers, but like just the ones that were baker's dozens. They get 13. I want to speak to your manager. Okay. Sarah? Sarah? We have a woman up here. She doesn't know what a baker's dozen is. Yep. Stage 5 Karen alert. As stated before, this is a really small town. Right down the road from the cafe is the garage where Ricky and Eddie do whatever it is that Ricky and Eddie do. So, hey, did you know that 20% of coffee mugs have fecal matter in them? So the next time your coffee tastes like shit, it's probably not the coffee. Dude, there have been reports on vacuum toilets commonly used on planes that suck the rectum out of people. Where the fuck is the operator? So, so when a bee ejaculates, it's fucking balls rush here, bro. It's fucking what? That's weird. Two thirds of men and women have fantasized about other people having sex with their partner. Ovulating women are more likely to cheat. Dude, this is cool and all, but where the fuck is the carburetor? It's on the top shelf. I've looked three times. Which fucking top shelf? It's on the, by the fan. <laughs> fuck it. Get out here. You ready for lunch? After what I've seen, I'm not really that hungry. Join it is then. Fuck yeah. Aren't they cute? I mean, seriously, come on. There's some charm to them. Right down the road on Route 25 is where our lovable Karen lives. I'm not sure if that's her actual name, but it seems fitting. Oh look, I was right.
Bro, do you remember that time in middle school when I kicked that fucking guy down the steps? Bro. I stopped yes. hands on the rails. That <laughs> shit was fucking He crazy, went down like bro. 22 flights of steps. Flamed over top of the foot. That shit was hilarious. That's why he shouldn't <laughs> Man, I just didn't like that guy. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> listen to this shit. <clears throat> There's one time when I was in lunch. I, w- I was in the lunch line, and this kid in front of me, I just fucking picked him up and choked him in the fucking lunch line in front of everybody and took a spot in the line. <laughs> <laughs> good times, man. Good right. times. Hey, we really got Tyler good. Yeah, the look on his face was priceless. I love fucking with him. Well, he deserves it. <laughs> fucking weirdo. You got that right. I gotta take a piss. All right, man. I'll be right back. This is nice. It's majestic. Okay, I know what you're asking yourself. What kind of person makes a holiday movie with this much blood and gore? Well, someone that's struggling at making bargain bin horror films. So I usually get off work at five, but today I got off work at four. So I'm gonna use this extra time to look at all the Christmas decorations on my way home. I love it all, the Christmas lights, the inflatable snowmen. Hey, I even love seeing the nice guys that dress up like Santa Claus and take donations. Happy holidays, bud. Gee, pass. I love, love, love this holiday. I mean, people usually are jerks to me no matter what, but even the neighbors seem a little bit nicer this time of year. See, he actually waved. He hasn't waved at me since last Christmas. Duh, I love this holiday. And you know what makes it even better? My old friend Kenny from high school is coming to visit tonight. I'm so excited. Kenny's the type of guy you drink a beer with if you drink beer. He's the type of guy you smoke a cigarette with if you smoke cigarettes. He's the, he's the, he's a real man's man. Yeah, I think that's what they say. It actually seems like things are looking up this time. Hmm, who knew?
I was kind of hoping they'd survive. Look, I get it. They were assholes to me. But nobody deserves to die, right? Ah, well. <laughs> how do you think it's going, huh? It's pretty wild, right? I mean, how do you think it's going to end? Do you think there's going to be like a big blowout? Or <gasps> what if the killer unmasks himself at the end? Oh. I don't know. I kind of like my Christmas stories to have a relatable ending, you know? Something that we've all experienced. Uh, I guess she won't be going to the winter dance with me. Well, Kenny texted me though. He's on his way. I'm so excited for him to come over. Maybe tonight could actually be something kind of good.
What is a pud? <coughs> Who's at the door? <coughs> Hello? Hello?
Oh, I bet you didn't see that coming. Well, to be fair, I didn't either. You know what they say, all good things have to come to an end. And this <laughs> is in fact the end. Turns out the people I thought killed my sister, they were framed. You're looking at the killer right there. It's funny, sometimes the answer is just right in front of your face. I guess this would all bring up the question, are monsters born or are monsters made? And if somebody's a monster, are they a monster the entire time? Or do they only let it shine through sometimes? I guess we'll never know. But don't worry, because you, yes, you, can still have a happy holiday. So make sure to call your friends, call your family, even say happy holidays to a stranger on the street, because you just don't know who the next person is to get a candy cane through their fucking head. Goodbye to the human race. 